Hi guys, Hi. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah is coming as well, Sarah Lai Chef. We're preparing for uh, dinner in 15. Uh, we'll start in a few minutes. This is our waiting room. Welcome everybody. Uh, this is Filippo Bartolotta. Today is a day about tagliatelle. Tagliatelle with a pesto. Almond pesto. Almond pesto, we'll tell all about later. Of course, there is some basil. But you know how pesto is all about like this, right? In fact, yes, the pestello. Now that we're here, we're just going to use that, all right? Yeah. Tipo? Yes, of course. I thought, I thought you were like, you know. But you know. we won't have the time to use the mortaio, so I will use the blender. Oh, <laughs> you see then? <laughs> Because you know, I'm a mortaio guy, seriously. Okay. I love, I love so I much so. The, the, the idea. You think we're not going to be able to make it? No, because I have to talk about wine mm. and everything. Wine. Today Sorry. Today is Valpolicella Day. Uh, the land of Amarone, a lot of people know. Uh, we'll talk about this and more uh, with Bertani in a few minutes with Sarah and me. Che fai? Mangi Buonissimo. Va bene. Stop eating my almonds. This is Filippo Bartolotta. This mm -hmm. is Dinner in 15. My mouth is full, I can talk. This is Sarah Lai, chef. Welcome everybody. 50 minutes already started. I'm so sorry. Almonds are so good. Pesto with basil. Uh, what is this, parmigiano? This is parmigiano, actually, see. Almond. Almond. You'll tell us all about the almonds. A little bit of garlic, if you want, right? If you want. A little bit of garlic. Um, pappardelle. So while Sarah is preparing the pappardelle, I'll talk about the wine. Tagliatelle. Tagliatelle. What's the difference? The thickness. Okay. The largeness, sorry. Oh, so okay, okay. The width. The width. So tagliatella is sorry. small. Is, is tagliatella is eight millimeter. Pappardella, ah. it can be two centimeter or four centimeter. So wider but tagliatella, two. pappardella, si. thinner tagliatella. Si. So today is fine. Tagliatella, eight millimeters. Um, this is semolina flour. This is semolina flour. 100 one grams, egg. one 100 egg. grams, one egg. There you go. Pinch, 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 pinch. Off you go. By the way, guys, I always, always uh, like to remind everybody that if you are not following because Sarah is going too fast or because we talk too much or for whatever reason, you can check all our recipes on our website. Yes. We actually have also a lot of uh, pasta recipes, pasta with eggs, without eggs, with uh, semolina, with double zero flour, like all sorts of things. So don't worry about it. Just as long as you subscribe our channel and you follow our social media, you're gonna be having so much content that you'll become a professional chef. And it's some. Talking about some, Sarah, can I let you go? Please. You sure? Thank you very you much. <laughs> Please. Allora, parliamo today di Bertani, one of the most historical brands in Valpolicella and in Italy, uh, in the beautiful Villa di Novare. This Valpolicella is a blend of grapes uh, that is Corvina, the main variety in the Valpolicella area. A little bit of Molinara that adds up acidity to the blend. And the majority of it comes from the Valpolicella Classica, close to the Lake Garda, the largest lake in Italy. And a bit of Valpantena, which adds up a, what, what is like, a, like white pepper to the blend. Now, uh, most people today are familiar with uh, Amarone, right? Because Amarone is a big, massive wine. You can check that on our website once again. Uh, Valpolicella for many years was the king of uh, the wines in that area. Uh, where are we? Sorry. We are in Verona, the city of Romeo and Juliet. And uh, right north of Verona, there is a beautiful amphitheater. On the left hand side, you have the Valpolicella Classica with the Lake Garda. And 
on the other side you have Suave region. All of this here is Valpolicella, is an amphitheater with 13 different valleys, five of the Classica and one of the valleys that is called Valpantena. Um, what are the true key factors of Valpolicella? First of all, you are next to the Lake Garda, so that makes the area a very Mediterranean style area. Uh, then you have the mountains, you have the Alps nearby. All the way behind this amphitheater, there is like mountains with lots of snow. So it's really cold. So what happens? The Romans knew all about this and they were struggling to ripen the Corvina Corvinone. Possibly we don't know about the varieties, but anyway, they were struggling to ripe varieties. So what did they come up with? Recciotto drying the grapes for a second maturation on the shelves, on the bamboo mats. The result was increasing of sugar, reduction of water, uh, uh, increasing of, of, of alcohol, of tannins, of acidity, everything, all right? Mm -hmm. Flavors. But Amarone and Recciotto are very intense wine. And uh, Valpolicella for many years was considered to be like a, a very light wine. Not many people were interested in that anymore. And today, the Ripasso is actually taking over because it, Ripasso is like a small Amarone. It's a Valpolicella that is going through the leftover grapes of Amarone, getting some more sweetness and roundness of the wine. So come back to Valpolicella and Valpolicella Superiore with an extra year of aging. Look at this. Bright, light, ruby, transparent. So this wine possibly didn't see any, any day of... Um, Drying, no drying process, no pasito elements, and on the nose it's all about the red berry crush, the strawberries, some sour cherries. I love it. A little bit of a vanilla stick, the white pepper. Man, this is how I like it. You know, at the end of the day, Valpolicella, we have 10 minutes to go. Can you be a little bit less, less noisy? Oh, see. What do you think? We're doing like a cookie class or something? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing because I'm really fond of this idea of, uh, you know, in Valpolicella you have Valpolicella, Valpolicella Superiore, you have Valpolicella Ripasso and Amarone and Ricciotto. From the lightest all the way up to the biggest and sweeter and uh, a more destructive style. So my question here is why? You know, should you make Valpolicella that is so big and bold? If you already have Ripasso and Amarone, that's why I love this Bertani Valpolicella, because it's not big and bold. Mm. And on the palate, it's just pure, pure cherries. Is this gonna work with our pasta dish? Let's see. Eight minutes 48 to go. Hey, like Guardate, them. in the meanwhile, Sarah, can you tell him what you're doing? She's, she's just uh, making pasta like uh, grandma used to make. Yes. Who taught you to make pasta? Yes, because for me it's quicker. My grandmother. Your grandmother for real? My grandmother was from Mugello and I started to do the tortelli di patate. Ah. The potato tortelli since I was well, four years old, maybe. Four years old. Imagine little tortellini. <laughs> yes. So... How long does it take? Like, uh, it's been, uh, what, seven minutes? Yes. Uh, if and then you you're don't it, have time. She's folding it and look. Luigi, are you there? If you don't have time, you can use the machine. Man, I love this movement. Look at that. It's so perfect, geometrical. Ta -da -da. Very thick uh, uh, style. Si. Is that how you want it? See. Si. Why? Because pesto is a very simple sauce. Okay. So um, if you uh, have uh, this light and Too light. delicate so um, sauce, it's nice to have a, a thick contrast. consistency. Perfect. Thank you for this explanation. Now, if you have a ragu, maybe it's sorry. Better, it's better, better to go thin. To, yes. How do you make pesto? Pesto is pesto means to crush, right? So you put that. Usually si. we put some salt, right? Some salt. So then you put uh, parmigiano. Yes. And usually we use pine nuts, but yes. you chose to go for almonds. I love almonds. I eat them every day. And you should eat them every Oil? day. Why should you eat them every day? And garlic, because they are full of everything, every kind of vitamins, 
their fantastic anti-tumoral, anti-everything. Okay. For your skin, really, no, they, they're fantastic. Yep. I love almonds. So my uh, life-changing ingredient. He then will use the pestello, I will use the blender. So we will show <laughs> you because well, we have I, We were talking about this in the waiting room. Um, so using pesto, first of all, I believe, although this is not Hocus Pocus, but I believe that like energy, we, we, we always say for more tricks, tips and love, right? But there is love. Same. And when you, you give your love, you give your energy to whatever you do, whether it is, uh, you know, like cooking, whatever job you're in, guys, just as long as you are there and you are with it, you are present, right? And that things are going to be different. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to, <laughs> I was just going to philosophical and Yeah, you're, you're so like zen. The chainsaw. I'm so contemporary, sorry. <laughs> I'm old, that's the difference. But I'm here and now I'm present with my blender. Okay. So I don't want to make too much of a noise, but hey, this is what I do as well, right? But there is a difference. That, come on, it's true. There is a difference if you do that. No, there, no, right? no. There is a big, big difference. Big, very big I think, difference. first of all, you get the ingredients that come out. Uh, they become, they very stay big. a little bit rawer than, than the blender. See. Si. But, you know, no matter what you do, we have five minutes to go. The idea is to come up with a paste. Um, we can't say anything right now. Yes, just for a second. It's very, very quick. Actually, I have done. So that was like one minute with her. Yeah. I'm still here, but because I'm confident. This is 15. Okay. This is the pesto. One more thing. I saved some almonds to toast them and to... Oh, that Decorate. is smart. You know, I was a little bit worried for my wine. <laughs> so I like the idea of toasting. So when you have wine matching, anything that can add up, above when you have red wines and light sauce like this, anything that, anything that can add up umami, uh, sapidity, sourness, that's going to be helping. So toasting is going to add up an extra dimension to the dish. And the same actually is going to do the cheese. Cheese is what's going to help this dish with the wine. Sì. Allora, Sara, four minutes to go. Allora. Che gli dici? Our pesto che... is done. Our water is boiling. Oh, your pesto is doing. Bello, vero? Oh, sì, bello. Molto Devo dire bello. che però, if I had peanuts, eh, lo so. pine nuts, that sì. would have been easier. But like sì. almonds are a little bit... Um, if you don't like garlic... I mean, garlic gives it an extra... You have a problem, but um. it can be, so I'm sorry. But some people are allergic to garlic. No, yes, of course. So you I'm can skip that. You. you know, one thing that I hate is pesto. Pesto... Uh, oh, sorry. Here. It was too hot, huh? Sí. Pe industrial pesto, there are some kind of like good ones, but there is the citric acid, there is some preservative in it that I can't have it. No. There's, some, there's some good stuff that are made by, by like the more commercial, but to Terrible. be honest, it takes few minutes, guys. Just make it yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? We are Go. going to cook our tagliatelle. Si. It's off, eh? Molto bene. Our tagliatelle. So once again, let's remind our friends, when do you get the tagliatelle out? When they come up, because it's a fresh pasta, but you can put the timer, if you are precise, two minutes, they will be cooked. You can use a dry pasta as well. Why not? If you have only spaghetti at home. Look at this. Uh, si. It's a little bit too raw. Si. Mm. Eh, buonissimo, lo so. Arrivederci! <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, I forgot the dish. Oh, anche, actually, anche basil as well has got a lot of uh, 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 properties. You know, like how basil in the summertime in Italy is uh, one of the most expensive has become ingredients. If you go to the supermarket, it's under the, you know, anti-theft anti thing because apparently there is a big uh, gray market on basil. Yours looks a little bit smoother than mine. Eh, uh, sì. 
something happened out there in the road, but <laughs> hey, we're here in kitchen heaven. Mama Who Blick. cares? Andiamo. Forse ancora un po', no? No. Sorry if I doubt you. <laughs> <laughs> You're excused. Va bene. One minute 45, guys. And once again, believe it or not, not believe it or not, believe it, because this is one <laughs> sequence, guys. Yeah, we don't cut and chop and do anything. No. So we're she, real. Sarah, made pasta from scratch with semolina, one egg, and uh, she prepared these tagliatelle. She made pesto. Important when you use the pesto with the pasta, the cooking water. water. Molto bene. It's water. fundamental. Oh my God, I'm ready. Let me get my I fork. am ready. This is for me, it's not for you. <laughs> Allora, questo a che punto? Sul piatto, in fondo? At the sì, on top. Troppa roba? Ti leviamo un po' di cose. On top. Leviamo un po' di cose per il nostro Luigi. Salutiamo anche Stefano, that today is from home. Just of course, there is Leonardo there alla console. Wow, 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 wow. Viviana, like always, has gone to get a cup of coffee. No, I can't hear. She doesn't like, even like coffee. And Gabriele went for a walk. Man, nobody's working here. Questi vado? Sì. Oh! Dai, non con le mani. Hai was... <laughs> detto che era spento, cazzo. Sì, was... Ma oh. guarda bello, però. Incredibile. Who stole my phone? I want to take pictures of these things. They're so beautiful. Andiamo. Little Tieni. bit of black Questo pepper. Questo è il tuo valpolicella, te lo oh, metto grazie, qua. Grazie, very kind. Intanto salute ancora salute, Sara, grazie. Salute, grazie 15 a te. seconds, I have to try, sorry. Follow us on our social media. We are very social. And, And thank you for being with us, of course. Mm. You can find this fantastic pesto recipe on our website. Just uh, search for pasta and sauces. You will find a lot of recipe. Fantastic recipe, of course. Mm. The almond is almost floral. Sorry guys, we're just going out a little few, few minutes. I'm just going to clean my mm. mouth. Right? Can you feel the thickness of the, the tagliatelle helps no, the dish? I understand now what you're talking about. This is a very light dish. So Sorry. the wine, is it working? We're going to do like the crunchy bacon. Of course, you all know mm. that that's going to be making it. But no, I think uh, it's good. I, for my wine, mm -hmm. I don't know if you agree, I need some extra. So, perché no, you can add up some, uh, some uh, of your parmigiana that you just used. Same. You put a little bit more on top. Same. Perché... Or you like, can put some pe pecorino, sorry. Perché no. Huh? Perché no, as long as you... Add up fatness, okay? Nothing always works like you planned. Uh, in this case, sometimes it does, but in this case, this pesto is so light and gentle. Mm. And in fact, what happens is that the wine all of a sudden becomes smoother. There is uh, more relationship between the dish and the wine. Can you stop doing that? <laughs> Ciao, thank you for being with us. Grazie, thank you for following us. There's gonna be more of these uh, live shows, Dinner in 15, uh, follow our social media. If you haven't done it, subscribe our channel. And for more uh, cooking events, uh, book your private cooking events with us, with your family, with your friends, stay with us. Arrivederci. Ciao.